A lovely evening in Chicago, Illinois. The temperature hit 85 degrees Fahrenheit this afternoon. Sunshine and windy. What else? Good evening and welcome to Molson Hockey Night in Canada in the Stanley Cup playoffs. The second half of our CBC doubleheader. I'm Ron McLean. In behind me, you see the United Center, the beautiful new home of the Blackhawks. 21,000 seats. They'll start the season there next year. But tonight, the story's the building of 65 years of pandemonium, 65 seasons of pure pleasure. Chicago Stadium, game four tonight. The Hawks and the Leafs. Last night, Tony Amati, a dream performance. Four goals, were it not for Felix Potvin, could well have been six. Hawks won the game 5-4. The Leafs lead the series now two games to one. In that, this could be the last meaningful game ever played here at Chicago Stadium. We thought we'd skip the pregame hype tonight, allow you to be a stadium fan as opposed to a television fan, and enable your ears and your eyes to set the stage for game four, the Leafs and the Hawks. Remember when cheering for the Blackhawks, please use proper language. The men throughout the stadium wearing special yellow jackets were off to the police officers. They will arrest anyone causing a disturbance in the stand or throwing debris on the ice. The stadium will pay a weather hunter reward to any person who could have been by anyone throwing any object leaving their arrest and connection. Please project your name to help stop the dangerous practice. And fans seated in the first rows of the balconies and the first row of the mezzanine are please requested to remove all beverage cups from the ledges. Thank you. Be sure to drink a copy of tonight's official Black Hawk Stanley Cup Hockey Program, Face Off, a picture of the Stanley Cup on the front cover, and inside are reduced to Face Off, a special game night insert in Portchester, Chicago two games to one and as the series moves along of course the next game becomes all that more important Blackhawk can tie it up or can be staring at elimination hello again everybody I'm Bob Cole in the broadcast booth with Harry Neal and there is Felix Potvin 28 saves in the last game last night he was saying today he was disappointed in himself he felt there were at least two he should have had One more save than Potvin. 
And that was enough to get Chicago back into the series by Ed Balfour. He made a game saver on Jamie McCown late in the third period. Rob Schick is your referee. Gordon Rossiger and Brian Murphy will work the lines. Gilmore, Gartner, Clark, McCown, LaFave shoot the puck in. Gilmore is knocked down. He shot it to the far side, and Miranov was there for Toronto. Gilmore given a bump by Amadi. Gets it inside the Chicago line, though. Gartner with in there hitting. And now the Blackhawks come out three of them. Amadi is closing in. Dropped it back. Amadi again. Chicago, well executed. Suter jumping into the rush. Was in a right spot, having given off the pass to Amadi. He went right in front of the net. And there it was. One to nothing. Chicago. Everybody covered. Chicago doing a good job killing this penalty. Here's Clark. Wrapped it back to Gill. The penalty about over. Gill moving up. Passes to the corner. Back to Gill. Chance is out of the penalty box. And Gartner didn't see him come up behind him. There's Shad stealing it. Shoots it off to the corner and gets to the Chicago bench. Blackhawks looking very confident. Ronick is in there to flatten Ellis. There's Ronick centering the puck. Pulling the shot. Another one gets through. Right in front of the net. And puck is down. They go after him. And this could draw a crowd. Puck is down. And he apparently had the puck frozen. And the Chicago player came in and erupted at his pad. Well, the Leafs went into a cranial coma there in their own end. They were falling over each other. They had two or three chances to get it out. They couldn't. And Puckman finally froze the puck and got the whistle. And we may have some penalties. The faceoff will be outside for sure because the Hawk defenseman came off the blue line. Remains to be seen who Rob Schick thinks will get penalty. Clark will get one. Wendell Clark is the only penalty called on that mix-up inside the leaf line, and he gets it for roughing. Well, this is after Potvin throws the puck. I've often wondered, I'm not, I'm not saying there wasn't a penalty on it, but how the referee can sort out who gets it remains to be seen. But Clark does. The Hawks have a power play. They're winning 1-0, 6.54 left in the first period. Chicago in a great spot now to go up 2-0. They get a taste of the power play here in game four. Chelios, Murphy, Suter, Avanti. And of course, here's Ronick. Ronick turning back to the corner. Ask was out to the line of Suter. Drill it. Chicago, first period, 5.15 remaining. Gartner coming down the left side, shoots it into the far corner. And Clark went in to pick it up. Clark goes back to the net with Gartner centering it. The shot now, shot score! Gilmore, before Belfort could get back. Gilmore knew he had gone to the 
far side, and one time to the ground of the high shot, and the Leafs get a power play goal, and they're close to Chicago, two to one. Well, Clark beats Carney in a battle for the puck to start the whole playoff. Now watch how far Belfour comes out to stop the shot by McCowan, and then stumbles and can't get over to stop the bad angle shot right here from Doug Gilmore. The Leafs get a much needed goal with 5.05 to go in the first 2 1 Hawks. Gardner and McCown drawing assists on the Gilmore goal. I never think it's a bad play to ice the puck if you're tired and or if you've been in your own zone under duress from the forecheck for any length of time. I know. Sometimes it looks like you can do something better with it, but it's never the worst play you can make. There is the Hawk Brain Trust, Pulford, Dwayne Sutter, Phil Meir. Cliff Fletcher at the other end of the press box at the leaf end of the Chicago Stadium. Mike Kitchen, you can see him on Cliff's right. Long pass down the ice. Cullen bumped off the puck easily, and here's Chelios again. Chelios lost it. Cullen moving it by him and coming in there. Right in on goal. Belfour had the angle with Clark. And Berger racing to the net. And Cullen tried to beat the Chicago goalie on the short side. Nothing doing. Gilmore and Chelios have got it going between them. Two or three times either trailing the play. Chris Chelios and Doug Gilmore have exchanged taps with their stick. There's one of them right there. Chelios gives it to Gilmore. Gilmore comes back at him. And here they are discussing the quality of the slashes they've just exchanged. And on the same ship, Gilmore tries the low bridge. Ronick skated past the puck. And Manderville took it. Manderville lost the stick, but managed to poke it back for Gil. Chelios stopped it at the blue line. It's up for the net. There's Puck panicking a sensational save off Amati. Quarter final. Puck pack coming up with a big stop here on Amati, who scored four goals in yesterday's game. Gardner stopped it near the blue line. He'll drive it. It hit a stick and bounced right to Frank Sutter. And another penalty coming up to Chicago. Gilmore was dumped. And Chicago will get another penalty, and what a golden opportunity for the Leafs now. Suter is going for interference. Gary Suter taking out the most dangerous leap when the puck went to Mike Gardner on the point. Here's 20. He doesn't care about the point shot. He's only worried about Gilmore and knocks him down. And I have to tell you this, to put a team two men down for a minute and 33 seconds, that was not a playoff call. Blackhawks already shorthanded with Cunningworth in the box. And now Suter, who has scored the two Chicago goals, joins him. 5.38 left in the second. Chicago 2, Toronto 1. Leafs with a two-man advantage. They win the draw. Along the line, Marinov, he's got a big shot, doesn't shoot it. Now he gets it again. This time, rolled it in. Andrew Chuck, very weak shot. Miranov blocked it at the line to prevent that clearing attempt. It is Gilmore coming in with a pass. They score! Andrew Chuck lifting one over Balfour. And Toronto has tied it on a power play. Well, it's pretty tough when you're two men down to take both point men away. You see what Sutter and Graham are doing. Now that leaves Chelios with one man on one side of the net and one on the other. And although Graham and Sutter are back, they don't get back far enough. Belfort gets a bit of this puck and deflects it into the net. Anna Chuck doesn't miss those kind of passes very often. It's 2-2.